Uh, okay, Nate, today you wanted to talk about um, psychedelics and how they may be able to influence art. Yeah, well, really today I wanted to propose an experiment. Um, I proposed this experiment to the science minister under the current Albanese government. I also proposed this experiment in emails to other ministers under the previous Liberal government. Um, so just a bit of precursor on my experiment. Um, I'm really into this fantasy idea that when we use psychedelics we can perceive another dimension or reality or an alternate universe which is separate to our universe. Um, now I haven't actually used psychedelics, I'm very interested to use psychedelics uh, and I will certainly use them at some stage in my life. Um, I don't know whether there's any validity to this idea that the visions people have in the psychedelic experience are some alternate reality or some alternate universe. This seems to be what Joe Rogan thinks. Uh, I don't know if it's a real idea. I think more probable is that um, psychedelic drugs enhance the dream state and it's sort of an enhanced dream state where our imaginations expand and we can concoct wild fantasies in our mind's eye. Um, so uh, <clears throat> I do believe in a thing called the astral realm, which I explained in a previous video, which is essentially the, the world within the mind's eye where we can visualise and we can imagine things which don't exist. And I do argue that the astral realm, which is where dreams take place, is almost another dimension on its own where thought exists. Um, but that's different uh, to believing that those experiences happen in some parallel universe and that psychedelics somehow transport our spirit to some other universe and allow us to perceive other universes. Um, but there's a problem with studying things that happen in the mind's eye is that we can't see what is happening in people's mind's eye in their imagination. In the future, in the next hundred years, we'll be able to attach uh, senses to people's heads and to their brains and we'll actually be able to record their dreams and we'll actually be able to watch um, visual by, by tracing their brainwave patterns and stuff uh, we'll be able to record their dreams and then watch on a screen a visual interpretation of a person's dream and then when that technology becomes available we'll be able to better study the uh, affairs of individuals in a world um, but at present we can't study um, people's inner worlds in their mind's eye in their imagination because we can't see what they can see we can't access that to study that um, so what what I what I believe if you wanted to prove that psychedelics transported your mind to another dimension where you meet these apparent machine elves and all this nonsense that these people go on with um, if you wanted to study that you would want to be able to see you would want to have accounts, written accounts or visual accounts through art of what people experienced while they were on psychedelics and you would want to see if, if, if you painted a hundred paintings painted by people who had just taken psychedelics and were asked to paint a depiction of what they saw on the psychedelics, then you would compare the hundred paintings and look for similarities and that would help you determine whether people are having a universal experience, right? So if... if if, if I take psychedelics and I see this certain creature, say an elf, um, and then a hundred other people take psychedelics and they all see the same elf, then we can say, well, what is this? Does this elf actually exist somewhere? And are, are these psychedelics allowing people to go in and interact with this elf? So the experiment I proposed to the science minister under the Albanese government and to um, other ministers under the previous Liberal government is that we... That the government should, or research institutions such as universities, uh, and I would like to see this happen at the University of Newcastle, um, should hire five to ten very talented visual artists, give them psychedelics under the specific directions that when they come out of the trip, they paint as clear a representation of their experience as possible. And then they also write detailed uh, account um, of their experience. And then scientists can assess those paintings those visual representations of the psychedelic experience and those written accounts and can draw conclusions on what is the nature of the psychedelic experience um, I do think we need to understand the visuals that people see in their minds when they take psychedelics better so that we can understand exactly what the psychedelic experience is um, 
So take, get, getting an artist to paint a painting of their experience on psychedelics is similar to, to being able to take a photograph of what they saw in their mind. So imagine that psychedelics do transport our mind to some other universe, then we can pay these painters to paint hundreds of depictions of this other universe uh, and to write written accounts of this other universe and then we can start to study this other universe and understand uh, what happens in this other universe. And it, so, as I said, we would want to look at all of their paintings and their, and their written uh, descriptions of their experience and look for similarities between the experiences and if we see a lot of similarities we can start to say oh they're actually going to another place and this is the properties of that place this place has machine elves this place has spiral patterns that is that universe and then we can start to confirm that if all the experiences are universal and share similarities then maybe they do reflect another world that we can venture to um I believe the ancient pagans and the Irish people who talked about the land of the Fae, the fairy land where the fairies lived, I believe they were taking magic mushrooms and other psychedelics uh, and, and, and that, that the land of the Fae, the world of the fairy people, is their interpretation of the psychedelic experience. Um, so those cultures, I argue, absolutely believed that psychedelics transported you to another universe, the spirit world, um, if you will, or allowed you to perceive other levels of reality. So we just need to start getting visual representations of what people experience on psychedelics, and then we can start to understand uh, this world that people see a bit better. So I pr want to encourage artists, be safe when you use drugs, use drugs responsibly. You know, I believe that when you take psychedelics, you should probably have a sober person present who can keep an eye on you to make sure you don't do anything silly because people do silly things when they take hard psychedelics. They think they can fly and they jump off buildings and die and stuff. So you should have a sober minder with you when you're taking psychedelics. But I want to encourage artists, take psychedelics, then paint and paint and draw and do digital media any interpretation of your psychedelic you know we want we need we're coming into an age of accepting psychedelics and being open-minded about the potential for psychedelics psychiatry is embracing psychedelics you can now get a legal script for psychedelics in australia under certain circumstances so to accompany this new cultural shift towards embracing the psychedelic experience i want artists painters digital artists writers all of you to get together and safely and responsibly with a mind to take some psychedelics and depict your experience and share them so that we can all get a better sense for what this looks like and do individuals have similar experiences or are individual experiences vastly different um, we certainly hear that everyone sees these geometric patterns right everyone talks about oh i had psychedelics i saw geometric patterns well why does everyone see these geometric patterns you know if it's all in your mind and your imagination and it isn't reflective of something external to you then why does everyone who takes psychedelics see the same geometric patterns what's that all about i thought maybe the geometric patterns are some sort of inner reflection of our DNA structure or something and when we take psychedelics we see some reflection of the makeup of the universe and that maybe at the base of it all is these these geometric patterns of energy that form all matter and, and all of the universe and maybe that's why we everyone sees geometric patterns but you know we want lots of artists to depict the psychedelic experience for us so that we can study it and look at it we need those Photographs and those paintings serve as photographs of this realm, this world, the land of the Fae, the fairy world, the spirit world. Um, those paintings serve as photographs that will let us study that world. So, you know, I'm telling you artists, go out there and safely and responsibly take acid and then paint like mad and draw and show us what you see. Uh, so drop a comment in the comment section, guys. Thanks.